was seven, my parents took me to the countryside one evening. That was the first time I got to see the real night sky, away from the city lights, away from everything. And I was blown away by all the stars I could see. Some of them taking millions of years for their light to reach Earth and give us a show every night. That's when I decided I didn't want to take that show for granted. There is a mystery to this universe that I find incredible. Rachel, is it? Yeah, that's me. You're in my class, I should know that. So what do you need me to do? Well, you need lab credit to pass, right? So I suppose a better attitude would be a good start. Come on. I was just tracking the M82 Galaxy before you walked in. Coffee? You are looking lovely tonight. Pardon? Oh, I, I meant the galaxy. Right. We're lucky to have a guest speaker with us today. I'd like everyone to welcome Glenn Childs, Deputy Director of the Goddard Space Flight Center. Thank you, Alex. NASA has had a partnership with Barrett College for more than 40 years now. And I'm looking forward to working with some of you during your lab sessions in the observatory, where you're bound to see things that will take your breath away. That's why I became an astrophysicist, because of the wonders of our solar system. Okay, I think it's focused now. All right, well, let's see what it looks like with a little infrared enhancement. Very nice. You really love this, don't you? Yes, I do. If you paid a little more attention in class, Rachel, you might too. Do you want me to send these to Goddard? Let's take a look at the Pleiades first. I'd like to run through those again since last week's images with Paul were a bit blurry. Current position is right ascension, three hours, 47 minutes, 12 seconds, declination, 23 degrees, 59 arc minutes, 35 arc seconds.
Dr. Grissom? Not in class, Rachel. You can call me Alex. Alex, I think you should come look at this. What is it? It looks like some of the stars are missing. What? Can anyone tell me what dark energy is? Anyone? Paul? Uh, dark. I, I don't know. You are exactly right. The truth is, we really have no idea what dark energy is. It's just a name given to all the stuff that's floating out there in between the stars. We can't see it or observe it, but along with dark matter, it makes up 95% of our expanding universe. So how can you explain its existence if you can't even observe it? See, it says there are five stars missing from the cluster. Well, they're not missing. I mean, they're probably just obscured by an object, maybe a distant asteroid belt, even something in our own no, atmosphere. Look. What the hell? Maybe there's something wrong with the lens? Maybe. Let's switch to infrared. So what does that mean? How do you know something exists if you can't observe it? We don't know for sure if dark energy is out there. Its existence is implied. But some force must be causing the universe to expand. And dark energy is the best answer we have right now. So could there be another force that could cause it to collapse? Not possible. Hello? It's Jordan from Kitt Peak in Arizona. Jordan, thanks for calling back. Are you seeing this? Yeah, our first pass shows that we're missing 24 stars. 24? It's not just Pleiades, man. We've lost over a dozen stars in the last the half hour. We're getting calls from all over about it. Have you tried X-ray imaging? Nothing showing up, Alex. They just vanished. Look. The reports of multiple star clusters disappearing have now been confirmed by top officials at NASA. Director Charles Bolden issued a brief statement on the situation. Whoa, 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 whoa. There goes another one. Better make that 25, Alex. This followed Alex? several unsubstantiated reports from all over the United States and Europe in which astronomers Hello? have observed Alex? stellar objects vanishing Hello? from the night sky. Alex. Dr. John Holdren. Earth to Alex. Are you still there, buddy? Rachel. Contact Goddard Space Flight Center. For what? We need a larger telescope. From the world's top astrophysicists and vowed to cooperate with any and all international space agencies to discover a cause of the vanishing star groups. Thank you, Lindsay. As always, keep it tuned right here.
Thanks for coming out here. It's been a wild night. Tell me about it. NASA's getting slammed with phone calls, and so are the other space agencies. So they're all seeing it then? 132 stars have disappeared over the last 10 hours. And with all the media coverage, people are starting to panic, and with good reason. Glenn, I need access to the Hubble. The Hubble? The Hubble telescope? Alex, that's a tall order. I know, but it's our best chance to see what's happening in deep space. Nothing here on the ground can match its range. You want me to give you control of NASA's most powerful telescope during the biggest astronomical crisis in the program's history? That's exactly why I need it. Three, four hours is all I want. And we can control it directly from the observatory. Three hours, and I have to be on site to supervise. Don't make me regret this. You won't. So, Alex, what's your plan? I want to rerun the ultra-deep field images and see what comes back. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field. This was the first in a series of images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2004. This is also the deepest image of the cosmos ever taken. Some of these galaxies are more than 13 billion light years away. So what you're looking at is literally the edge of the observable universe. believe that what we're seeing here is a reversal of the Big Bang Theory? There is no evidence that has ever existed to show that the universe is collapsing. The earliest evidence we ever had, continuing to this day, shows that the universe is on a one-way expansive... Hubble should be going online at any moment. We'll be able to sync up with it shortly. Thanks, Glenn. I pulled up the original image here. Once we're synced, the new data can stream right to the observatory. Goddard has lost track of another 42 stars since sundown. Let's hope this will give us some answers. Let's hope so. We'll need a six-hour exposure from Hubble. Here, you can punch in the data and coordinates. Six? What happened to three or four? Can I talk to you? Sure. What is it? Yeah. What are you looking for? The original deep field image had over 10,000 galaxies in it. The unlikely proof of a collapse would begin way out there. So I'm looking for density changes and variants. Divergent expansion of dark energy that might be causing rips in the universe. Objects redshifting past the cosmological... Co in English, please, what are you looking for? Fingers crossed, 10,000 galaxies. Hey, it's gonna be fine. It's just scary, you know? I mean, what if there's nothing there? No, Rachel, that's not possible. How can you say that when you don't understand 95% of what's out there?
How is it all going to end? We've all asked that question at some point, right? I could bore you for hours with countless theories on the end of the universe. But there is no answer to that question. And this may sound strange coming from an astronomer and a man of science, but I'm okay with that. Should be about finished. It's coming through now. We may never know how it all ends. Maybe the end will just be the beginning of another end. Stars die and new ones will eventually take their place. said before, there's a mystery to this universe that I find incredible. 